Warisu Adam is asking, uh, educate me on the ruling of Islam, on a Muslim donating towards the construction of a church. A church is known to be a place of worship for non-Muslims, particularly for Christians of different denominations. Whether those who believe in Trinity, or those who are Unitarians, or the Orthodox, the Catholic, uh, the Methodist, um, a combination of different denominations representing Christianity revolving around the fact that either God is one of three or three in one, or God has a son and his son is Jesus and he sacrificed his son for the sins of his uh, servants of the human beings, or that Jesus himself is the God who is one who is worthy of worship. Obviously, in Islam, all of that is rejected. And the Almighty Allah explained it clearly in the Quran. So he said, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَ And uh, there are many references. If I go through them, it will consume the entire time allocated for this episode. Then in Surah Al-Ma'idah, where Allah the Almighty stated that those who claim that God is one of three or the Messiah is the Son of God have disbelieved in the oneness of Allah. Allah the Almighty said in ayah number two, in the beginning of chapter number five, وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ So if a Muslim is working in tourism and he's selling courses and small statues of Mary and Jesus and all of that, for people who worship them, and he doesn't worship them, he's blameworthy. And he's assisting them in their disbelief. So the earning out of that is not permissible. Accordingly, donating towards the establishment of institutes which teach disbelief in monotheism, or associating partners to Allah in worship is not permissible. And it is considered as assisting people in disbelieving in the oneness of Allah. وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ And we want to make a clear distinction between uh, assisting non-Muslims in general, followers of any faith, or donating towards good causes which help the non-Muslims to eat, to clothe them, or an orphanage, uh, or to settle their debt if they are down in debt. All of that is permissible out of your voluntary charity. But when it comes to donating towards, sometimes you see at the traffic light in, in the States, uh, somebody is wearing a sign, says, why lie, I need a beer. So he is asking for donations in order to buy a beer. So out of sympathy, you put your hand in your pocket or in the drawer, you find some quarters and you drop them in his uh, uh, can or in, in his box you have committed a major sin because the guy says, I'm going to buy a beer and you donated for him in order to buy a beer. What do you think of this? Haram or halal? Definitely haram. Myself and a friend of mine stepped out of the restaurant in London and uh, you know, we, we have ordered some food. And as we were walking, a local British guy, non-Muslim, said, I'm hungry, give me some money to eat. So I handed over the package to him. I thank you so much. Is this a good deed? Is this a charitable act? Will you be rewarded for that? 100%. Your earning is halal, and you give it to him with a good intention. You're doing this, hopefully for the sake of Allah. Then Allah the Almighty will deliver his promise. فَوَقَاهُمُ اللَّهُ شَرَّ ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ وَلَقَّاهُمْ نَبْضَرَةً وَسُرُورًا وَجَزَاهُمْ بِمَا صَبَرُوا جَنَّةً وَحَرِيرًا But if you know that your donation, your contribution is going to be used or utilized in doing anything which is haram, so assisting in anything that is haram is haram and it is forbidden. No questions in this respect.